As a Muslim, Madam Deputy Speaker, for me and millions of Muslims across this country and quarter of the world's population, that is Muslim too, with each day and at each breath, there is not a single thing in the world that we commemorate and honour more than our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But when bigots and racists defame, slander or abuse our prophet, peace be upon him, just like some people do the likes of Churchill, the emotional harm caused upon our hearts is unbearable. Because for two billion Muslims, he is the leader we commemorate in our hearts, honour in our lives and forms the basis of our identity and our very existence. In fact, the noted playwright John Bernard, George Bernard Shaw said about the prophet, peace be upon him, he was by far the most remarkable man that ever set foot on this earth. He preached a religion, founded a state, laid down a moral code, initiated numerous social and political reforms, established a powerful and dynam dynamic society to practice and represent his teachings, and completely revolutionised the world of human thought and behaviour for all times to come. In, to those who say it's just a cartoon, I want to say I won't say it's only a statue, because I understand the strength of British feeling when it comes to our history, our culture, and our identity. It's not just a cartoon, and they're not just statues. They represent, symbolise, and mean so much more to us as human beings. To conclude. Whilst this law will now protect civil order and emotional harm when it comes to secular and political figures such as Oliver Cromwell and Churchill, and does not necessarily for other figures that many people in modern Britain hold close to their hearts, such as Jesus, the, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Moses, Ram, Buddha, Guru Nanak and many others, it does show that we recognise there is such a thing as emotional harm. And finally, we must ask ourselves, when striking the careful balance to protect such emotional harms, can there and should there be a hierarchy of sentiments? Thank you.